Good day, Biomeds. I have here a infusion pump from SK600. This is the old version. And the problem with this one is it takes an air of empty, meaning there's no tubings or the tubings has an air inside. So we're going to check this up and open up the infusion pump. But before that, biomeds, make sure that you know what you're doing or if you don't know what to do, please don't try to open up by yourself. And make sure that every time you check the infusion pump, it must be calibrated then. Biomeds, I have opened the cover of the infusion. Now, you're going to see the what's inside we have here the connection of the plug the fuse there's a two fuse here from the line and the neutral and this one is also the battery right inside here there's a battery so again we're going to take up the on what's inside the infusion pump here we have the uh, this one right here is the power supply board we have the capacitors the output of this one is 12 volts 1 ampere and on the other side we have the main board and this one we have the fuse and the and all the circuits here uh, it corresponds to any commands where you're going to set up the infusion pump this one here is a ferret bar and there's two fuses here this one this one and on this side right here it doesn't hit, hit sink uh, the function of this one this IC here is a, a motor regulator and uh, name of this one is C Z Z zero H K eight two five that's L two two nine eight K okay and And this one also, right here. This one. This is where the rotation sensors of the motor it sends the rotation on the motor. This one right here. And Here we go. This is the motor. Here I have also this uh, this one 
it's the same as you can see here it's the same I have here this one the same now the function of this one is every time you switch it on and when it turns uh, it turns as you can see here look at this portion the tube here you this is where the tube is inserted and every time it's operational this is what will happen there's uh, some kind of wave there and as you can see here the position of this one it should be like this and should be like this this sensor light right here will be connected to this portion oh, I mean this portion so that it will sense the motions of the motor and the peripheral that one that position right there every time you the motor this is what you call a stepper motor okay. we have here a sensors board and there's the connections and these two variable resistors here we're going to twist the knob back and forth and then We'll put it back to its proper position. Be very careful, biomeds, because this is a critical hospital equipment. It must be calibrated. Okay, biomeds. It is uh, functional now, and we're going to test if the air sensor does functions. I'll uh, we'll try and see. I'm going to pull out this one. And we are going uh. sorry. see if the sensor the ultrasonic sensor does work once all of the waters here is gone it will alarm the infusion pump that there's an there's an air inside the tubings okay I'm going to stop right here and we're going to make a bolus.
okay i think our infusion pump is now functional and the next thing to do is to calibrate this one and test it for 24 hours or more then redo calibrations again then once it passed it's now ready to used so you're going to put a label that is calibrated and ready for ready for use and my next blog is about calibration thank you god bless good day by meds i have here a infusion pump from sk again and the problem with this one is there's an error tube indicator right there and I, I did check the tubings it's intact meaning I think the ultrasonic sensor did not recognize the tube so we're going to check it up I'm going to open let's get started okay we're going to check this one as I open up the infusion pump I noticed something on the lower side there's a flattened wire white one the white one it's just a very small wire connected to I think it is the ultrasonic sensor and here we have the uh, look at this uh, I think it is being cut out uh, we're going to solder this one and I will check all the cables first I think this is the problem this is connected to the ultronic, ultrasonic sensors and we have here the power supply and the motor I think this is the culprit we're going to solder this one and uh, we'll try to test I think it's being pressed by the screws lock screws Okay, here we go. I did manage to solder this one. I'm going to put a electrical tape just to ensure that it is isolated. Um, but before that, again, biomeds, if you don't know what you're doing, please do not try to fix it by yourself. Have it fixed by a certified technician or a biomedical technician and one of the safety features in the SK6602 is it has a bar inside which is a uh, VAR co connector every time when you put a tubings there it will push backwards and it will lock the tubings and another feature here is it has a fan motor blower inside compared to the SK601 and I think the it has a new version of the motor stepper motor but the operations there is much similar to uh, the SK6001 but the upgrade here is the display and those fan and those bars inside the peristeral sheets
again those border uh, uh, from under it's bigger than the uh, SK6001 so meaning it is being modified and there's a additional sensors installed but again the, the principles the same it will control the flow of the fluid in the tubings and we have the heat sink uh, it is connected to the IC uh, that's the motor uh, speed control and we're going to test it make sure it is secure okay, we're going to start this up and let's see if it functions okay here you go I think it's low back Yeah. 